Talking Fear Street, part one, 1994. And this one is directed by Lee Janik. And this movie is quite an interesting kind of concept. Um, it is a part of a trilogy of movies, all Fear Street movies, but based in different time zones. Now, the Fear Street is based on popular books by a uh, kind of young adult author, R.L. Stein, of course, who popularised the Goosebump books. And apparently these, these Fear Street books, that they've had about 150 books so far. Now, these three movies are three separate movies, but they have a through line and the they kind of go back in, in t sort of time. They start off with 1994, then I believe it's 1978, and then the last one is 1666. The first two movies are obviously meant to focus on the kind of the horror trends of that time. So the 90, uh, 94 movie, it's the first one, this one we're going to look talk about now, is obviously referencing the kind of the resurgence of the kind of the slasher movies made popular mainly by Scream and then Scream's kind of like uh, produced its own imitators, things like Urban Legend, I know we did last summer and things like that. So we had this resurgence of kind of like teen uh, slasher movies. Obviously the, the middle movie, the 78 movie, based on, I presume, uh, kind of Halloween and kind of movies of that ilk. And then the last one, it's kind of the origin and it's a kind of a period piece based on the kind of the, like the witch trials and things like that. But we're talking about part one, which is set in the 90s and is kind of in this style, or attempts to be in the style of the kind of the 1990s style uh, horror movies. It focuses on this kind of group of friends Primarily this one girl who is um, a, a lesbian but in the closet and she's kind of split up with her girlfriend and she's kind of having a bit of a hard time with it. She's got her younger brother, she's got these couple of other friends and there's this kind of rivalry between these kind of two areas. One very deprived and which is where it all seems the bad things start to happen. This is where our story takes place. Then we have like Sunnydale or something like that, Sunnyside. And this is kind of like the rich area. There's this kind of like rivalry between uh, these two kind of um, suburbs, so to speak. And we have a rash of killings, um, possibly the, the the work of a serial killer. And these kind of group of, of friends get kind of caught up in the middle, involved in a uh, slasher come supernatural story that may involve this, uh, this witch as the kind of the overall big bad. What will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So... Let's discuss Fear Street Part 1, 1994. So cards on the table, I'm not a huge slasher fan. Um, I, you know, I'll, I'll kind of say that up front. So this is coming from someone who, who I enjoy casually kind of slasher movies, but they're, they're not my favorite style of, of kind of horror movies. I find them very samey. But nonetheless, this one is a um, uh, quite a well-produced one, and it has... Uh, the, the advantage of being a some of a period piece, and that's all kind of in vogue now with obviously movies like uh, TV series like sort of Stranger Things, and we actually have uh, Maya Hawke in a kind of a small role that will kind of remind you of a a scene from the uh, the original Scream movie. I won't give away too much here, but then you've got lots of kind of like nineties kind of tunes here and nineties technology and things like this. So it kind of is a kind of a fun throwback. We've had plenty of kind of eighties stuff, and we've had one or two. Movies that are set in the 90s, but not so many. Maybe now it's the time for the 90s to kind of like be considered retro and things like that. To me, because I'm old, 90s still seems relatively recent, but I am old. So there you go. Uh, but I kind of quite like the uh, this kind of like setting and kind of obviously you get away from things like mobile phones and stuff when you're setting the uh, uh, you know horror movies in this kind of this kind of time period. So you can't have that as the easy kind of like that call for help and things like this. So it has certain advantages and uh, you know certain fun things that you can kind of do in the time period. Um, I think the setup, the, the intro is very strong to this movie and, and will kind of remind you very much of the kind of the, the, the 90s style of movies and things like this when hanging around in the mall was the kind of the cool thing to do. Um, I think the cast do a, a fairly good job. I think everyone does a decent job in kind of acting their roles. The old, the, the, the character types are kind of fairly well defined. Uh, I don't think they quite stand out. Uh, I think Maya Hawke's character, who isn't a, a long lot, she was kind of like um, a much more of a dynamic uh, character, I feel, even in the short screen, screen time, compared to our kind of our main characters. And our main characters don't quite get in the... Uh, 
you know, the, the classic characters like Sidney Prescott from the screen movies, for example, that uh, this movie's trying to emulate. But nonetheless, I think the actors all do a, a decent enough job, if not kind of really making particularly memorable characters. But, they're, you know, they're OK acting-wise. Um, there's some quite fun set pieces and some quite gruesome kind of kills, particularly one, which I won't spoil for you, uh, towards the end of the movie, one uh, uh, particularly kind of gruesome kill, which I didn't know, I think they were going to go there actually, but they, they ended up pulling the trigger, which will quite, uh, you know, quite satisfy those of you who like kind of, you know, good, unique kind of gory death, although it was quite well done. Um, also, the, the, the kind of the unique selling point, so to speak, of this movie is the fact that it is going to be tying into the other films. And you can see that it's kind of dropping names and kind of things that are probably going to come into play, uh, obviously, as the other two movies, you know, kind of sort of get, kind of air in the week's time. Now, I have, at this time of doing this review, I've only seen the first movie, but you can kind of see how it's setting up to have callbacks to uh, the, the, the previous kind of two movies. Although it kind of ends on somewhat of a cliffhanger, so I, I'm assuming that it, it might have sections set in 1994 um, in the kind of the other two movies, but we'll, I guess we'll have to see. Um, the film's quite, you know, quite f sort of fast paced as well. It doesn't really kind of slow down too much once it kind of gets going. And I quite enjoyed the fact that we have a little bit of a spin on the kind of the, the, the slasher because we kind of have more than one slasher. Uh, in a way, but and we have an overall kind of big bad that kind of spreads, sort of, you know, spans the three movies as well. But it all has a, a, a quite a neat, uh, you know, high production value. Looks kind of well polished, like a kind of a you know a well made medium kind of budget movie. Maybe what doesn't work. So to be honest with you, I found it somewhat of a generic slasher film. As I've said, I'm not a big slasher fan. Um, so to me, it kind of just seems more of the same, which is the, the, re the reason why I don't really gravitate to slasher movies. I won't say I out out dislike them, but they're just not my favourite. I find them very kind of samey, and this one just feels kind of like that as well. You know, we have the, the, the unique selling point of the fact that it's part of this kind of connected universe, so to speak, but outside of that, the actual story that we see is kind of more of the same. And as I've mentioned, although I think the acting is fine, I didn't really feel like any of the characters were particularly kind of memorable or elevated. Um, and it, without kind of going into spoilers, I also have a little kind of a plot hole sort of situation here. Um, we learn why these kind of, let's just call them these entities, are after this particular group of friends. And there's a specific reason and a specific cause for it. And that's fine. In a, in a bubble, that works. However, think about the the intro of the movie because it, it kind of is at odds with that because it doesn't really fit in with what is said later on in the movie um because there's a specific reason why they're chosen and, and it, it doesn't seem to have doesn't seem to affect the first person anyway but so there's maybe i mean this that's obviously because it's the first film maybe that will be explained so that point may well be moot um but overall, it's pers perfectly watchable. I think it's well made. I think if you like the kind of the 90s slasher movies, although I will say, outside of it having some very, like, shooed in music, I didn't know if I got a particular 90s vibe from it, if I'm completely honest. If you compare it to something like Stranger Things, which I felt did a good job of capturing the 80s, to me, this kind of seemed a little bit too modern for the, for the 90s, outside of just a few kind of, like, Let's listen to White Zombie or something like that, you know. Um, so I don't know if they really captured the kind of the 90s feel. I mean, it might be that 90s isn't just quite as easy to kind of capture as maybe the 80s, which is obviously a bit easier to do with things like haircuts and stuff like that. But to me, our cast of characters, I don't know, they just kind of look like regular kids that you would see today. I didn't really get kind of 90s from them outside of like when we see them listening to music or listen to a tape cassette player, things like this. But yeah, but it didn't really scream 90s, to be fair. Overall, though, it's a well-made film. It's probably an above-average slasher, in my opinion, but it doesn't really... I, don't, I wouldn't say it kind of progresses the genre in any meaningful way or offers anything particularly kind of new, but I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now.